Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV, and for today's running gun, we're going to be featuring an FN 49, also known as the SAFN. These are very cool guns that function via a short stroke piston and were the father of the famous FN FAL. Uh, they were both designed by Dudoni Sav, the uh, very prolific uh, designer who designed guns like the Browning High Power as well. And if you look at both of these guns side by side, they actually share a lot of features. The gas plugs look almost identical, the pistons look almost identical. Um, however, this, of course, looks a little more conventional, uh, maybe a little bit more like your father, your grandfather's hunting rifle even, but it was very much designed with the military in mind. It is a military rifle. It features uh, such things as this uh, dust cover here that slides uh, by either charging the bolt or by your index finger. It's got a loaded indicator, excuse me, a, uh, when the striker's cocked, it's got an indicator. It's got a very intuitive safety that you can actuate with your pointer finger. So all in all, a very well thought out, very ergonomic rifle for the uh, the time period in which it was designed. One of the things I don't like is it's loaded with five round stripper clips. It takes two for a total of 10 rounds. Now on the run and gun, we're going to use a total of 30 rounds with two reloads. All right, guys, here we go with the FN49, the predecessor to the FN FAL. Got to say, I'm really excited about shooting this gun, but a little nervous about loading it with stripper clips. So uh, let's see how it goes. Holy jeez. As you can see, the brass is caught under the piston. That is, uh, that is unfortunate. We might have to do this one again. All right, guys, so that's a really interesting malfunction. It's got a pretty clear semicircular divot in it. Um, you know, the brass got trapped under the op rod, and I guess as this one was feeding, it really got pushed into the feed ramp or something. Very strange malfunction. Um, this is the first time I believe this gun has actually even been shot, so... Uh, we're going to try that again. All right, guys, here we go with FN49 Take 2. Let's hope this time goes a little better. All right, guys, let's talk about that. <laughs> All right, guys, so that run was, we had one malfunction and uh, I believe two misses. I'll count the pings in the video and put the hits versus misses here. I really like shooting this gun, especially in seven millimeter. It doesn't have that much recoil. It handles very well. Um, as far as loading though, it's strange. It's like loading a Mauser and especially with that second clip, you're fighting even more tension. It's pretty hard to load. I would much rather have an in-block system like the M1 Garand. Um, 
All in all though, I'm going to get this ironed out, hopefully maybe with some different ammunition. It's uh, I had a few troubles today, but this is a very good gun. I really like them. They're cool, they're simple, they're well made. But uh, let's go back to the room and talk about it a little more. All right, so unlike the FNFAL, you can't adjust the gas on these on the fly. You actually have to have a special wrench that I did not have on hand. I've since ordered the wrench, and hopefully next time I take this out to the range, I'll get it running 100%. Um, with the new production 7mm, it should run just fine. I look forward to shooting this again because it's a nice soft shooting rifle. Um, what can I say? I wish it would have functioned 100% to show you guys what these are really capable of. But uh, hey, at least you got to see kind of a real world malfunction that could have really done someone some harm on the battlefield. But uh, until next time, big thanks to Ventura Munitions for providing the ammunition for our videos and this run. See you next time, guys.